uh, recently this week, you know, has shown that it's coalescing. But now. as busy as the governor is, has been, he's appeared with Barack Obama more times than Mitt Romney in recent months. Well, you know, they're trying to work on the same, uh, you know, get, creating jobs. So maybe they were talking about that. But I, you know, I think I think uh, the governor is is going to support Governor Romney, you know, wholeheartedly. Obviously, Ohio is going to be in the epicenter of the whole campaign again this year. And I'm sure he's going to do everything he can to make sure that Romney wins. Um, you know, earlier on, the governor has already come out before in, in, in favor of other uh, candidates or people who he had preferred to be candidates, such as former Mississippi Mayor Haley Barber and uh, Governor Christie from New Jersey. Uh, he has never really been a very strong, at least vocal or public supporter of Mitt Romney. And I think what you see here now is you have a, a pres, uh, you know, a presumptive nominee at this point. Uh, certainly, as Bob is saying, the Republicans are going to uh, kind of rally around whoever that person is going to be. In this case, it's going to be Mitt Romney, obviously. And I think that's why you're seeing Governor Kasich now make this. But I, I don't really think this is this wasn't his first, second or probably not even his third or fourth choice. Yeah, and I think you'll, you're seeing in the governor, uh, he is uh, emblematic of a lot of Ohio voters on the Republican side who, who voted for some of the other candidates and perhaps thought that a more conservative choice would have been better. Um, and, and uh, you know, I think that now, as, as Reggie says, you know, they're getting on the train as it's pulling out of the station. Um, it j did just so happen to come as Kasich's uh, allies had taken over the Republican Party, which is really going to help Romney. But, you know, even that internal fight there at the party had yeah. some to do with, with who different uh, factions liked for president. So, Gresham, that economic message we heard from Mitt Romney, that, that's pretty effective. He looks presidential in the soundbite that we saw. It's an economic message that resonates with folks in the areas of the state that are struggling. You know, I, I, I dis disagree so much with the pundits on the perception of this presidential candidate and this candidacy, the, the race. Let's tell the truth. It's a black man running against a moderate Mormon in a less than enthusiastic Republican field, which is a 20% party in America. Uh, and it's going to be a tough race. It is a race where states, 26 states, have put things in place that may disenfranchise 5 million voters. So, you know, we talk about the economic aspects of this. But we don't look at all the other fringe things that are that are occurring, and and then, and then finally, I, I think we reduce one other thing. This is the same economic philosophy that took us over the edge before. Now, are we going to say people are going to trust that again to go over that edge? And and it will be interesting to see what the voters do. I don't think it's purely about economics, whether people are unemployed, unemployed. I think it's about who do I trust to continue to move us forward. Bob Clay, can Governor Kasich has been cheerleading since he's since the day since before he was in office, but certainly mm -hmm. since the day he took office about increasing jobs and lowering the unemployment yep. rate. Can he campaign with Mitt Romney, whose message is the economy stinks? Yes, because you know where the governor has done some great things already here in Ohio and has been able to drop the unemployment rate quite a bit. It's not like that all over the United States. We're you know unfortunately we're an exception, but good for us. Uh, I think what he's going to do is say this is Mitt Romney's a guy who will create jobs. If you look at all the polling, uh, the one thing that Mitt Romney is beating the president on is, is the question of who do you trust to create jobs and to get the economy grow going. And he does win when it's head-to-head -head against the president. And unfortunately, Sam, that is the number one issue uh, in the United States today. It's the economy and jobs. And I think the irony here is it also for uh, President Obama and uh, Governor Kasich is they're, they're kind of saying the same things in a lot of ways and maybe in some ways are, are looking to the same sort of uh, items to, to kind of, uh, you know, change their fortunes with the voters right now in that they're focusing on jobs. And if you listen to the, uh, to the president just earlier this week, he talk, talked a lot about job training programs, using uh, community colleges for job training programs and job readiness uh, programs for jobs uh, for skilled labor. It's the exact same thing that the governor has already been talking about here uh, in, in Ohio and actually included in his recent uh, mid-year budget review. And I think your point is, is right, Mike, that it's going to be a little bit confusing in terms of the messaging in, here in Ohio because we are seeing such improved economic 
Um, you know, we had new job numbers out that showed the, the unemployment is continuing to go down this week. Um, and I think that you look at how do we both cheerlead and both talk about being bipartisan and, you know, then go out there and battle each other and try to win. Uh, Bob, any speculation, you know, the conspiracy theorists out there, <laughs> are that, you know, John Kasich's looking ahead to 2016. If he gets reelected as governor, yeah. he's run for president before. Uh -huh. uh, 2016, he'd be a, le a leading candidate if Mitt Romney loses. Yeah, well, but, you know, he'd be in the middle of his second term, and I don't know if that would be the right time that he would want to do that. He may want to do this. But it might be better, you know, for for him to wait until after he's done with eight years as governor, and then at that point, uh, President Romney would be done too, also <laughs> eventually. So he he would have plenty of time to run. 